So, hello and welcome. This week we'll be making a pillbox hat. Alright, I hope you enjoy. Thank you. Okay, the first step of this making the pillbox hat is to take a measurement of the head of the person we need. I'm making the hat for myself, so I'm going to use myself as a model. We need to measure the widest part of the hat, in fact the part of the head where the hat is going to sit. So I'm just going to run my tape measure around there, take it off and it comes to 23. Okay, so I need to now find something circular of 23 centimetres. Thank you. Okay, so, we... so I've searched my kitchen cupboards downstairs and I found a bowl of 23 centimetres. And I'm going to use this as a template. Now, because I want to do a little bit of a peek on this hat, what I'm going to do is draw around the bowl. So that's going to be my top. And then I'm going to draw another circle so that I'm going to have a little brim on it. This is great if you do get caught in a shower or something. Okay, I'm just going to guesstimate this, but obviously you can take a little bit more time. So now I've got my two circles. I'm just going to trim these out. So there we are. Just going to get rid of all of this. Now the fabric I'm using today is a nice fleece fabric. Um, I think it's a very good type of fabric to sew for a beginner. It's very forgiving. Uh, it's got a little bit of stretch in it and it's very soft. Okay, so this is double layer because I'm going to make a lining of the same material and I'm going to make it all out of the same material. You could do a contrasting material if you like, or you could do a nice fun band across the front using fabric fur, uh, fake fabric fur, and they come in all sorts of wonderful designs. So I'm just going to draw around this so that I can um, then cut it. I'm going to remove that and then I'm going to do another line there. So that's that done. They only need to be faint, they just need to be a guide for you. As I've said before, this fabric is not slippy so it's not going to slide off the table. Obviously if it was a bit then um, we would have to pin it or even tack it. So, slide that round there. And then I'm going to cut the centre one. I might actually use the paper scissors. This is because I need the internal ring and the external ring. I want to get that just right. Red ones under the drain board. There we go. I'm doing it one layer at a time just so I can get it started.
<laughs> so there we go I've got my circle for my rim and I've got my two other circles for my top now as it was only three seconds ago that I measured my head I can still remember that it was 22 23 now I want it nice and loose so I'm going to go up to probably about 25 if I do find that there's loads and loads of fabric left over after I've sewn it then I can trim that but what I can't do is neatly manage to put on more cloth without disrupting the design so again I'm on double layer and because there's no set requirement I can just cut down four centimeters sorry four inches lovely and then I'm just going to go straight to the end there we go so I have my six bits of cloth so we've got all our pieces now and we're just going to start sewing them through the machine now I'm going to use I think I'm going to sew the rim first and then I'm going to sew the top and the sides and then I'm going to sew all three bits together. So I'm just going to whiz round here. Now because I use the serger I can um, pick up these um, badly cut bits. I want the outside on the inside so I'm going to match those two together and then I'm just going to sew around again there we go I'm just going to ease the brim around the circle of the top of the hat with a standard sewing machine there's no reason why not um, fleece has the added advantage of not fraying so um, and all the seams will be on the inside so it will be fine just to do it with a sewing machine obviously because I have the serger and the serger is all set up I'm going to be using it there we are now we're coming to the end. I did know that I added um, a couple of inches on the end of the cloth and um, I think I was right too. But I will trim this bit off in a moment. There we go, just push that out of the way. And then the last piece to sew together is the same as the piece before, which is the lining of the hat and the lining of the rim. Now I'm doing this all in one colour, please please design your own or you're welcome to do it in 
cream if you like. But there we are. these three bits off just so we can see what we've got so we have the rim we have the top and then we have an identical piece to be the lining with the extra bit there just so we can seam that up nicely in a moment now what I need to do is sew this rim onto one of these. I'm going to keep all the stitching to the outside and then I'm going to turn it inside out. So I'm just going to take a moment, line it up and away we go. Lovely, so that's where we are at the moment. You can see it's sort of taking shape now. And now I'm just going to sew the lining onto the other side of the brim. I'm going to line up the back seams at the same place. This is so that I can have a back of the hat and a front of the hat. And again, I'm making sure that all my seams are on the outside for the moment. see this there's the top rim and there's the the bit that comes down the hat
and there we are. I'm going to turn this all inside out. Well, no, actually, I'm going to turn this all the right way round. So it's just going to take a moment. And um, I don't know how to describe this shape. It's sort of a cylinder with a sort of, I don't know, rim, I suppose. And there we go. We just push that round. And then we're going to push the lining into the hat. And it's supposed to be a soft hat. It's supposed to be for warmth. And then if you do get caught in a shower, you'll have that little rim there just to help um, keep the rain out of your eyes. Okay. So. So we're on the final stage now. Um, it's beginning to look like a hat. What we have to do is just tidy up this inside seam. I've changed machines just because I can. I ha I, it's just because I can. I'm going to fold that in there. Obviously I'm still going to use the contrasting coloured threads so that you can see them clearly. And I know this machine is not going to be happy about this. But all I need to do is do one row of seams. Now I'm going to put the foot down even though it's not got anywhere to go. So excuse the noise. Yeah, I told you. There we go. Now this seam will be on the inside in the lining, so it should be tidy but we don't need to worry too much. And then just take a moment to get the hat reshaped and hopefully there we are. I'm just going to push this seam out. There we are. Lovely. So, hope you can see this okay. I'm Fiona and we just made a pillbox hat together.